So there we are, um, right inside the QR code controller. Remember where it is, it's in app HTTP controllers, then QR code controller. This is the file we are in, and we're inside the store function. Now remember that, uh, hey, this is wrong in English language, it is save QR code. So remember what we're trying to achieve. We What we're trying to do is, um, in, as, in as much as we're trying to save the, the the content of the form that is coming in, we want to create a QR code, save the QR code inside our folder. The QR code is basically an image. So we save the image inside our folder, but then we, we save the path to the image in our database. All right, makes sense. So in order to save the path to the image in our database, we must have saved um, the content of the QR, uh, the, the content of the the form so let's say uh, the form gets saved first after it has saved I'm trying not to, to I'm trying not to waste your time by manually typing out code so here I'm gonna paste the code I've already written now what does this code uh, do update database okay so what does this code do I just pasted this first of all we define the path where the QR code will be saved. All right. So um, the QR code will be saved inside QR codes. Uh, check it out. If we look at our folder structure, if you look at our folder structure, you will see that there are several folders in Laravel, but this public folder is where it will be saved. So this QR codes is a folder, and this is the name of the QR code. So it will be saved here. Now the way we're, what we're going to do is we have to create this folder because it doesn't exist. So we have to create it inside here. So I'll right click here and say new folder and then call it QR codes. So whatever QR code we, we create will be saved inside here. Another thing we can do is to maybe um, track the which QR codes each user have saved and save it inside their own folder. So let's create... Um, we can have something like the folder for this user, uh, but I think this is basically okay. Now, one thing about this QR code um, package is that you must make sure that this folder exists. Whatever folder you're pointing at must exist. If it doesn't exist, the QR code will not be generated and there will be no errors. You will not know why it's not working. So the reason it's not working is usually because there is you've not created the folder. But in this case, we've created the folder and the name of the QR code file will be the ID of just the created UR QR code then .png. And that's it. So the ID is unique because no two uh, QR codes will have the same ID. So even if 1 million people are creating QR codes, each of them will have a unique number attached to .png file. Now what the next file does is, um, I don't, we don't need this. We don't need this. So what the next line does is, uh, of course, the QR code text example I showed you. So we're going to, um, what this is the message we want to encode in our QR code. You understand? So, so far, we don't have the message yet. I will type it in. So let me just type message here. We'll gradually craft out the beautiful message we'll use here. And then the set, the size, this is the physical size of the image. So we are setting it to four. The margin. We're setting it to two and then the out file this this is very important because you are basically saying yeah it's asking you which place in your uh, public directory you want to save the qr code we have already created the variable here we said qr codes will be inside a folder called qr codes and then um it's asking you the file type this must be png uh png is what usually works if you use any other file type it may not work seamlessly with your application all right, so now this, all these have been done. The QR code is generated, and we need to save this path in our database. All right, so one way is to make sure that this QR code is generated before we save the path. Let's say if we have a um, QR code, or new QR code, new QR code equal to, and then we can say if if it, if it run well, 
then um, save the path this success we don't need success what is going to be is input input we're trying to create the path then save it in the database so we can now have this this line is what saves in the database so perfect so what happens is somebody fills a form and the content of the form is received and all the content is saved in inputs this is an array and then we generate we we'll specify the file path we generate the QR code we check if the QR code is generated if it is then what we go what we create the path we save the path and then we save everything in the database in this input is what we're saving in the database it's an array that contains all the contents of the form and we just added a new item to it which is the file path and then everything is saved so which means if this QR code process fails then uh, we will not save anything in the database all right so one thing we can do is um, else we'll flash failure so here we're gonna flash success if this is saved then we can flash success but if it failed we can flash error uh, i think is it error or errors then we can say qr code failed failed to save Successfully. All right. This is supposed to be um, singular. All right. Before we redirect, so um, we're gonna test this. But the last thing we need to do is to import QR code, since we have already installed it in our app. We'll have to go up and say use QR code. Um, I need to remember the setting okay qr code then we also need to use flash um import not okay flash is already there we import off so that's it basically and um, in the next video we'll test our code try and create a new qr code request and then we'll check the folder to see whether something uh, was created in the folder and then in the public folder we'll see whether a file as of now it's empty we'll see whether the qr code file is created there then we'll go to our website and display the QR code so that people can scan it.